Wing shot on the way. No good. A bit long that time. Well, there's no question that the Warriors are the team of the decade, Grant. Oh, I mean, B.A., think about it. Six finals appearances in eight years. They did miss the playoffs in two of those seasons, but they still... Oh! Get oh! yourself! Show us some power! Andrew Wiggins should get a 10 for degree of difficulty. That was beautiful. Here's Doncic. The Warriors pull it in. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. And so it's Irving with it. He brings it up for the Dallas Mavericks. They come into this one following the loss to Minnesota. Hey, they had their chances, but they struggled from the line. It's so hard to win that way on someone else's floor. You've got to stand in and deliver from the free throw line, even in a tough environment, and they failed to do so. Yeah, you want to get him going as soon as possible. Great way for him to start this game. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Irving looking around. Three on the clock. Shoots over Curry. Dallas no good that time either. 0 for 4 to start this game. Some of it's execution and some of it's just bad luck. The defense wants to collapse on Stephen Curry. It gives him a great opportunity to make a pass and have his teammate get a good look. Another miss by Irving. I mean, just a tough start. Missing their first five shots. Back to Green. Thompson outside. Pass to Green. Wiggins outside. Thompson right side. Williams grabs the board. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. <laughs> That's exactly how you have to defend him on the perimeter. You can't allow any space. Now Wiggins. Pass to Curry. There's the triple. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. You know, Doris, for teams that made big changes over the summer, these preseason games are valuable. Yeah, you have to understand or get an understanding of how to play with one another. And though you've been practicing against yourselves, this is an opportunity to test your system and your timing against an unfamiliar foe. So much to learn from these reps. Here. Boy, they're in a rough patch right now. <laughs> yeah, momentum is definitely not on their side. And Powell with the stuff. You see the offensive force that is Kyrie Irving. Sometimes it's a scoring right there, it's his passing. Back to Green. Pass to Thompson. Outside Curry. From deep, it's rebounded by Dallas. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Looney up top. Now here's Thompson. Still no points. Five to shoot, to the middle. Count that bucket. And Grant the Mavericks this summer committing to their superstar tandem of Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic. Yeah, B.A., and the next step was surrounding them with the defensive floor spacing they'll need to compete. Overall, I like the moves they made, and we'll see how it all pans out come April. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring. And Tim Hardaway says, you know what? My teammate's open. I'm going to get him the ball. Looney up top. Thompson scanning the floor. Pass to Curry. And out of bounds. Dallas will have it. 
correctly stated, you have to take care of the basketball, and they don't on that possession. The Mavericks trailing. Thirty seconds left to play in the first quarter. Doncic outside. And that one good. If you allow Luca to establish position because of his size, his strength, his footwork, turn the lights out. Pass to Thompson. Outside Curry. Here's Wiggins. Fires the three. Knocks it down from distance. Wiggins got 10 points in the game. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. And so the first quarter is in the books. The Mavericks, nine. Here we go, folks. Our coverage of this NBA preseason game continues. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Warriors. Yeah, their early focus on outside scoring has paid off. They're finding plenty of points from three-point land. And their assist total, also impressive early, creating with the pass and playing for teammates. Assistant. Shot is good by Curry. Kyrie Irving can be devastating in the pick and roll, the creativity and decision making simply outstanding. And so it's Dallas with it. Four point game. Another one falls for Dallas. They have no answer defensively inside. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. That'll be a five-second call. And for a while, it seemed the Warriors were maintaining a dual-timeline approach. But not anymore, Grant. No, sir, B.A. The Warriors setting their clocks and calendars to coincide with their superstar. One, Wardell Stephen Curry. Setting each other up beautifully. I love it. Eight of their last ten points coming off assists. Unable to get the ball in bounds. And they got called for a five-second violation. Shot from the inbound. Pass to Irving. And stolen by Green. Quarter number two at about a minute in. And there's the eight-second violation as they can't get it across half court in time. And, and in the last two possessions, they've painted a picture of what not to do. Just way too loose with the basketball. <laughs> They're really working the paint now. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it inbounds in time. Just in this quarter, he's turned it over three times. Not sure what's going on with him. And that'll be Dallas's ball as it goes out of bounds. Mavericks able to keep the possession. 
Just a millisecond late. So close to coming up with a steal there. Absolutely appreciate the effort, though. He really went after it so close. Basket's good. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. That'll be a five-second call. At this level, you can't afford to give the ball away. That's hurt them big time. Closed them in on two minutes played here in the second. Doncic outside to the paint. Irving. Outside, Green. Pass to Williams. Here's Doncic. Warriors with the rebound. And the Warriors pushing it up now. The putback. Oh, look at Green. So smart. So athletic. Draymond Green has a knack for understanding where the ball will come off. He's got long arms. Really nice job getting after it on the boards. What can you say about Luka Doncic that has not already been said? Here's a guy in his mid-20s and a perennial MVP candidate, Doris. Yeah, his career is off to an extraordinary start. He's drawn comparisons to the legends of the game. And like so many of the greats, B.A., he is a one-of-one. One. The ability to command the game from all aspects is truly something to behold. Thompson outside. Clock at four. Back to Curry. Golden State needs to get off a shot. The shot by Looney, no good. And that closeout certainly made a difference. Well, no question. He altered that shot, and most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Warriors head coach Steve Kerr has somewhat of a hands-off approach. He said, quote, coaching isn't controlling. My goal by the end of the year is to just sit there and do nothing. And that means it works because that's what a coach's job is. It's not to pull strings, call every play and direct traffic. It's to say, this is your team. B.A.? Yeah, that's how you have to think about it, right? Thanks, Allie. Well, this is a decent free throw shooter. And where Powell could help himself is getting to the line a little bit more. And Luka Doncic is going to pick up the foul. That's his first foul of the game. These calls can be so difficult for officials to make. We've got 1.55 left in the second. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Curry. It just couldn't make the connection. But you appreciate their attempt at moving the ball. Here's Dallas now. They're on a 14-2 run here. For three, Hardaway can't get a second shot to fall. Now one of two. Pass to Thompson. Back to Curry. Now Thompson. Six on the shot clock. Oh, Curry, a magician inside. Uh, Stephen Curry, a three-level scorer, gets a chippy right there. Doncic outside. Inside. Here's Green. And it's hammered home by Green. Oh, nice one-handed jam there, B.A. Hey, little exclamation point. Fifty-one seconds left in the first half. Oh, Looney with the smooth move inside. And off the jump, they were effective from deep. I don't know why they haven't continued to fire from out there. Yeah, the court awareness that Luca plays with knows exactly when and where to deliver the pass. Back to Green. Pass to Curry. Launches it. Hardaway grabs the board. Yeah, it just hasn't been able to find his rhythm offensively. And that's having a ripple effect. Kept alive. Eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Green. Warriors with the rebound. Wiggins left side. 
Here's Looney. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It goes on Tim Hardaway. That free throw, no good. At the line for the Warriors. Devon Looney. And he sinks the second. For three, Hardaway. Oh, my. Came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. Well, this is a quick and decisive offensive player who's not afraid of contact. Love Tim Hardaway Jr. accepting the contact. And he misses all three. And the first half comes to an end. We've got a close game going here. The Mavericks on top, up by five. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And getting you back to the preseason action. Great to have you with us. And the NBA doing what they could to get rid of the take foul recently. Grant, it seems like a success. Absolutely. It's been a huge success. Fast breaks feel fast again. And penalizing take fouls has made the game much, much better. Outside for Irving. Here's Doncic. Got a hand on it. In transition, here come the Warriors. Here's Green. Rebounded by Green. And so it's Doncic with it. He brings it up to the Dallas Mavericks. Leading by five. If Powell's on the court, he's a threat to dunk it. Incredible athleticism. Here's Thompson. No points so far. Clock at six. Clay busting it up inside. I think you can make a strong case that Draymond Green is the best passing four in the league. Unreal court vision. And every year, a question that's frequently asked, does Dallas have the right mix of players around Luka Doncic? And B.A., this is a hot topic of conversation around the league. Luka Doncic is a ball-dominant player who's been absolutely brilliant throughout the start of his NBA career. But it requires a certain level of player around him. You've got to have guys who play defense at a high level and who can make perimeter shots. You know, when you think about Kyrie Irving's game, his ball handling is what still comes to mind first. Yeah, you know, B.A., that and his killer instinct. Kyrie is one of the most creative players we've ever seen. A guy you can count on to come through in big moments. Back to Thompson. Pass to Green. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Well, defensively, if you allow him to get this close, you're playing with fire. He just happened to miss that one. And that one drops for him. Doncic has got six. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. Now Thompson from the arc. Oh, Thompson buries the train. Now this is his comfort zone. Clay Thompson beyond the arc. Such an easy look right there. Pass to Williams. Back to Doncic. And stolen by Green. Now Wiggins. Ten points for him. And there's the foul. It's on Grant Williams. That's his first foul of the game. Mavericks on D. Green. A screen. Curry. He's open. Money from the wing. He has seven. Well, coaches might discourage that kind of look, but he'll take it anyway. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. Clay Thompson is able to go on scoring stretches like few players in NBA history. He said, quote, once you see it go straight through the net, that's when you're in the zone. At the beginning of the game, you hold your follow through. Once you feel like you can't miss, you shoot real quick, and that's a great feeling. You feel on top of the world. EA? Yes, indeed. Thanks, Allie. That three's off the mark. One forty-four left in the third quarter. Here's Powell. And Powell with the stuff. 
refurbished. He has proven to be a quality finisher off the pick and roll. Dwight Powell can adjust midair to get his shot. Shot is good by Curry. Such a reliable threat from range. You think the defense might key on him a little bit more. And Dallas calls time here. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. The drive by Irving. Left side, Hardaway. Another shot. Got it. Hardaway's got five. You can see the kind of confidence Hardaway has in his shot. This guy is so fluid in the catch and shoot situations. Out to Thompson. Three pointer. And the Warriors with another three. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. The Mavericks leading. Here's Irving. Second chance shot. Not going to go that time. Excellent D there from Wiggins. Okay. Wiggins putting on a show here. Well, more points on the board for Wiggins. How about this guy? This is a memorable night. Fires the three. Kleba, that's good. Kleba's gotten himself on the board with a three there. Well, more and more you see big men working on the outside shot, and this guy has one of the better ones in the league. Curry, that's good. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. And he gets that one. Assistant. Irving, an elusive scorer, so adept at finding space inside. Pass to Gay. He shoots a three. No good on the shot. The third quarter comes to a close. The Mavericks ahead, up by five. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. 44. Welcome back, everyone. This preseason matchup has been a fun one to watch so far. Curry surveys. A sick triple. Challenging this game with the three ball. That's his second from distance this half. And he also hit one in the first half, too. Outside Irving. Kleba with a screen. From outside the arc. It's hauled in by Sharich. The Warriors trailing. Pass to Gay. And he hits it to tie the game. You can really see their confidence growing as this game has gone on. They have reason to believe that. What I love is the heart, the fire, the tenacity. This is absolutely fantastic. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. And Thompson gets it to go. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. Out to Thompson. Takes the three. And the Warriors with another three. Coming down the stretch, they've leaned on the perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. And the Mavericks call time here.
hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Hey guys, I was able to catch the message that Jason Kidd was giving to his team. This might be a close late game, but don't tell coach they were cool as a cucumber in the huddle, and I think that resonates with their players. We'll see if that approach works. Brian? All right, Allie, thanks once again. Green. Outside Irving. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Irving's got 11 in the second half. This guy is cooking right now. He is leading them on the offensive end as they remain in front here. Coming down the stretch. We'll see if someone can capture the lead and hold it. And that's been an issue. Five lead exchanges tonight. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Warriors. What a performance for Beyond the Arc in this game. They stuck to their guns, and it's paid off all game. I also like how they've played in the painted area. They've made an effort to work on the inside and convert those chances. And that one's good. Whether he's improvising or whether he's running set plays, Steph Curry is an absolute force. Doncic with the bucket. He has been taking and making big shots for a long time. Look at Doncic with the delivery. Outside Curry. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Defensive foul. And that one falls for Curry. Well, this is the kind of player he is. The tougher the moment, the more he elevates his game. Up top, Powell. Doncic feeling it out a bit. Powell's shot is off. The Warriors leading. And here's Thompson for three. Another basket. He's now six for seven in the contest. Well, big time moment means big time guy, and Blake Thompson delivers yet again. Dallas calls timeout. They're losing by five. 152 left in the fourth quarter here. One fifty-two left in the final quarter. Pass to Irving. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Here's Curry. And the Warriors tack on two more. Are you serious? I mean, he made the defender look silly right there. Just an epic move. Here's Doncic. Oh, Luka, like a bull in there. Well, the evolution of Kyrie Irving continues. He comes in as a scoring point guard, but more and more those passing skills are on display. And there it is for him. Thompson. Thompson's got 11 here in the quarter alone. That's how you share the rock. He does this time and time again. A gigantic shots like that have to help Powell's confidence quality look. Three left in the game. And here's Curry. They set the screen. Just five on the clock. Wiggins from long range. His second miss of the game. He's seven for nine. Hardaway, a good look. Powell, left side. Pass to Doncic. And they doubled up Doncic. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Powell. And it's good. What a beautiful shot. Brings it within three. Well, this is a big part of what Dwight Powell needs to do. Battle hard on the offensive glass. Turn those second chance opportunities into points. Okay, outside. The three is up, and that's good. Stephen Curry for three. Nobody you want taking that shot more than Steph Curry. What a pressure player. 
And Dallas calls time here. They're down by six. Just four seconds left in the fourth. Guys, your thoughts? A lot to talk about here, but hey, this game is likely out of reach. Well, maybe it could wait until after the game because this one is over. And so it's Golden State winning this one. Boy, a hard-fought game.